Howdy folks, Bad Mark with Mech Tech, and here's another day in keyboard world. Now today I just want to do a, do a quick video um, to review some products. I just got a package in today, so I'm a little excited and I like new toys. Um, from a company called Keep Monkey, which I, I've actually been purchasing from them for, for a while. They're an up-and-coming company. Uh, they are, I believe, in China, if I'm not mistaken. But where they lack you know, or have some issues, they do a really good job at customer support. Um, they, they make right when something goes wrong. So that said, I just wanted to do a quick review because they recently put up these, uh, USB cables, you know, the ones that a lot of people in the community like the ones with the aviator connectors, um, the coils and the USB C these are actually, I wanted to say, I mean, for the price, uh, right now, if you have a discount code, which is available on the Budget Keeb subreddit, um, on one of the posts that's high up right now, you you can get these cables as low as $12, uh, but normally, I think, 16 to $20, which is much cheaper than most other places. Uh, the color on these is quite lovely, um, and the finish is is really nice. I mean... Like I said, I, I'm fine with just the coil. I like coils because they remind me of retro keyboards. But these these coils are they're very well made. I've actually made a couple, and they're I mean, it's not difficult, but to get them perfect, it's not an easy thing. Um, and the connectors are pretty good. Uh, the powder coating looks pretty nice. It does come up on the thread a little bit, as you can see right there. Um, you know, just a little bit up on the thread, but obviously that doesn't matter. Once it's shut, everything that can be seen is nice and clean. Um, the job on these is quite good. There's even paint down into the the uh, screw, into the screws, screw th not threading, but you know where the where it makes connection with the screwdriver. And these cables, I mean, they're just they're nice. They feel very high quality and um like i said i'm i'm not particularly grand into these i actually i got these for for my girls because they absolutely love them so uh, this is like i combined uh one part of the peach or pink i don't know what what color it really is it's, to me it's a peach but i think they call it a, a pink uh with this uh I'd say teal color because I think this would look great uh, with my one of my daughters. She's using the coral keycap set. That'll look great. And then my other daughter, she'll be using this with another product that I wanted to show you today. Oops. Oh, that was a clip for my 3D printer. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the KBM 68 or Yep, is it KBD sixty eight? I'm sorry, KBD sixty eight. This is actually a white label product from Key Monkey. I believe this is a CIY tester sixty eight, but they were, if I'm not mistaken, they were one of the first to bring it outside of of China and Taobao and white labeled their own. They, you know, they went to CIY because it's still been manufactured by the same guys, and they got several thousand units white labeled for them and they sold them so this was my first entrance this was the first tester 68 that i got um i don't know if a lot of people know that but i mean now there's you know tester 68s are extremely popular because they're well-built boards um and they're great to play with and that you it doesn't take much to make them sound really good um so i got this one i believe for 14.95 before shipping but this is you know i, I believe i pre-ordered it there was a lot of people on rmk that was saying no these you know, there's no way they could sell them that cheap and but i figured I'd, i i took a chance with them this is one of the first things i bought from them i believe they're up to 32 dollars now so but that's matching about the same price as uh you know if you went to your other uh offline offshore marketplaces that i won't name here because i don't want to give them any credit for anything anyway this is uh it's built just as well as all the rest of them as you can hear a decent sound this is actually a stock board um, a couple of these i like to keep stock just to 
you know, kind of compare. Um, and, uh, not bad for the stabilizer. I mean, obviously they could use some lube, but yeah, that could use some work. But it doesn't sound horrible. So anyway, this I think this this particular keyboard is what kind of started or kickstarted the CIY tester uh, craze that's been going on. But another board that they have, which is a sleeper board, and I'm not exactly sure why this one is more popular. Now this one is the KBMG68. This is a 65% stacked acrylic north facing five pin hot swamp um, board with a support. It does not come with uh, stabilizers but it does support screw in and clip in stabilizers. Just uh which is a, a, a nice little feature. And this board goes for, I believe, $60. Um, but it is it is gasket mounted. And it's actually, it's a, it's a decent experience. So this one is going to be a gift. Um, it's going to be going with this cable as well uh, for my daughter, whose birthday is coming up. And it's going to go on a new keyboard. Uh, oh, I wanted to... This is the that same the KBM sixty eight. I just kind of wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, I don't know one of these is connected. Are you connected? Will you give me USB? Yeah, there we go. So this is a very decent board. Now this one is one I have yet to modify. This is my own one. I haven't even bothered to put the feet on here yet. They come with a two two sets of feet. One they're a little bit taller. Um, depending on how you set it up, you can get anything from a two to probably a seven degree angle because you can mix and match and put the taller ones in the back, and the shorter ones on the front, and get different angles. But I actually don't mind it like this. But that's just me. Um, anyway, this has a lot of really nice rgb effects so if you're big into rgb and you like via because I, I don't i'm not sure if it has per key led in my per key rgb but you know you can do the macros you have the four layers um and you can change the modifiers so it's a for the price i believe it's a very decent board it's a very decent kit and it sounds i mean this one is stock uh, i believe i'm running yeah these are momoka these are stock Momoka Reds, uh, or Flamingos, I mean. So I have not done any modifications to this board as of yet. So I, I do need to, but it actually sounds pretty good stock. But I just wanted to see let you guys see this board in action. But the other part of the present for my daughter is going to be this on a new keyboard. And this is a set that went on group buy probably i want to say late february early march um could be off on the dates but this is timeless violet this is a p not an epbt pbt set that is manufactured by momoka but it was uh done for four keep monkeys and it's actually really pretty i'm still i'm still kind of on the fence a lot of the modifiers actually include their size the geek part of me likes it. The aesthetic part of me is like, does it fit? Is it, you know, it's timeless. How does the size come into play when it's the modifier? So, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence. Though it looks good. I mean, I like that it has the pink. And, I mean, not for nothing. Uh, they're actually pretty sharp legends. I mean, I, I don't see any blur. And... They're very cute. I mean, even coming down to here and looking how they've mixed the uh, Windows and the Macintosh modifier legends, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I got to say, I like it. I would probably, if I if I was going to keep my uh, back in Enco 60, I'd probably try these on there because it's in lavender. So I think this, this is going to look extremely well with this cable on that um, uh, that keyboard I just showed you. So let's check out the modifiers real quick. On the bag I took out, has does have a 7 new space bar, and it has the uh, ISO uh, enter key. 
as well as the stepped cap box key and a different color um, pink for oh that's the same pink as the sub legends so you could use that as a space bar that doesn't fit in there. so but as far as the uh, modifiers go we've got a power button one I, I, I do like that one uh, again all the uh, modifiers have the size on there but this this looks like it will fit practically any kit sans the cursed ajaz uh, ak33 uh, it has some weird keys that ain't no key caps that ever gonna fit right um this should fit practically e even the squished uh, 64 key 60 percent because it has the single shift and the single delete key um i love the arrow keys i gotta say and it's got some other flowers uh, obviously it's violet timeless violet so it's going to have some violets on there and it looks like we have all the keys that would be needed for an eye so um i believe now that i guess that's number lock hmm and it's got different huh different type of home keys now that's int oh wow now that's something new i've never seen in a keycap set oh I, I guess I find that interesting. Uh, the base kit. Can you see what the um, home keys are missing? They're missing their tab. But actually, I'm going to do that now because if not, I may forget later. I'm going to go ahead and switch them out. But I mean, <laughs> the fact that they include them is, uh, is I think it's pretty cool. So we can just go ahead and take out this one because these do have the uh, the the home key, you know, so the finder basically. So your fingers can let your fingers do the walking. So I'm gonna go ahead and change those out for the correct ones because I I, I cannot recall ever seeing a keycap set that did not have them. That said. I have uh, heard people say, "Why do they? Why do my F and my J have bumps on the keys? I wish it didn't." And I believe I read a thread a while back um, of someone actually going through the trouble of sanding them down because it bothered them. So I found that kind of odd. But anyway, I I find that interesting. That I, I guess some people may have asked for that. Uh, I, I don't know why it would bother people, um, but to each their own. Anyway, I this is gonna I think this is gonna look pretty good on that uh, KBM G sixty eight with all the RGB, and I think uh, yeah I think she'll be happy. So, but these are some really nice looking keycaps. It's pretty complete. This is gonna cover just about any keyboard up to one hundred and four key without problem, and including some of your. I mean, obviously, I. I feel for you guys that need ISO because uh, <laughs> especially specific ISOs, it's not US. It looks like it could be a pain to find those keycaps. But as the industry grows, perhaps that'll change and that'll be easier. So anyway, this is this video was not at all sponsored by Keep Monkey. This is just an order that I had placed. Um, they do pretty good on shipping. I think, I want to say it was about three, almost four weeks ago. And I received it today. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to share. I don't know if anyone had reviewed either the keycap set or the cables yet. So I just wanted to do a quick, you know, showing. So everybody can become familiar with them. I have placed several orders with them now. And anytime there's been an issue, customer service has been attentive. Their Discord is... Um, pretty good they will respond fairly quickly and i mean i like companies that treat you well so uh, i'm not saying you should go and use them i'm just giving you my opinion that's all hopefully it helps people to you know that might be on the fence to make a solid decision anyway keep calm and keyboard on